Hey guys, welcome to a sunny afternoon in Brazil. Uh, we're in the state of Paraná and this is uh, quite a famous road that was recommended to me uh, because last night I was in Coritiba. Coritiba sits quite high um, and especially for Brazil because Brazil isn't like the uh, west side of South America with the Andes. It's uh, much, much flatter, more like Australia. So. Uh, yeah, Curitiba is like 1,000 meters, so about a kilometer high. So this road goes uh, from like Curitiba down to the coast. So yeah, this road itself um, is actually quite famous even before the likes of railways and trucks. Uh, this route was actually used by the herders uh, and entourages of mules and horses and wagons that was used to cart uh, goods from the main cities like Coritiba down to the coast uh, to be loaded into ships. Stop here for a feed, guys. I am starving, and they have coxinhas. So yeah, apparently the trade uh, business was completely uh, dependent on these drovers, these people who use these paths around Brazil, uh, and unfortunately, it, but they they didn't really have much. Uh, I mean, they pretty much bought and sold everything, and that including included the likes of the slave trade. Um, but on top of that, also a lot of like mining equipment, uh, clothing, pretty much anything they could carry. They were moving all around through Brazil through these trucks, um, and it was it, it was obviously the way before um, any cars or railways. This is how they moved um, all the tools for mining one way, and then all the all the mining. Um, outputs down to the coast so yeah a lot of history through these uh, beautiful rainforests so the forest itself is uh, one of the last uh, remaining Atlantic rainforest so this road goes pretty much straight through the middle is now a UNESCO um, heritage listed site so that's that's pretty positive so um, so yeah so as you can see you can experience um, pretty pristine rainforest here all the way down to uh, from the mountains down to the coast Yeah, you can see here the roads are very much um, like a cobble, cobble brick, like cobblestones with bricks. Uh, so they're obviously probably been there for quite a while, and um, you can see there it's quite bumping on the bike. And <laughs> it's uh, also being in the rainforest can be quite um, wet and like almost mossy from uh, 
um, from the humidity. So yeah, you've got to be pretty careful to maintain traction on, on the corners there because obviously the suspension is trying to keep the tyres on the road and uh, bumping all over the place. So yeah, still, still a lot of fun though.